Hello viewers, I am Praveen. In this course, you are quickly learning all the operating system concepts uniquely through question and answer sessions. So let's begin. Explain long, medium and short term scheduling in time sharing system. So let us understand what this long, medium and short term schedulers are. Whenever a process is newly created, when a new process is arrived, it is put in the list of new processes. From there it is scheduled to the ready queue or from there it is scheduled directly to the ready queue or it could be scheduled to the ready suspended queue. So admitting the, uh, scheduling the process from the arrive, from the job creation to the ready queue and to the ready suspend queue is done by the long term scheduler. The long term scheduler as you can see here, uh, this, this is a new process which has arrived and this is a list of new processes which has arrived processes. Okay, it's a queue and from this queue you can see here that it is being copied to the uh, ready suspend queue and it can also be copied like it can be also copied if there are no processes in, uh, in the ready suspend queue it will be directly copied to the ready queue so it can be directly copied to the ready queue as well now the uh, medium term scheduler is actually the scheduler which when the processes are blocked or suspended so uh, the short term scheduler is a scheduler which schedules between the ready queue and giving the process for execution to the running queue for to the CPU. So from the ready queue, the short term scheduler gives the processes for execution to the CPU. So giving the process for execution to the CPU is done by the short term scheduler and the, that's why the short term scheduler is going to be very fast because it has to be quick because the uh, it has to quickly the processor works at a very very high speed and the short term scheduler should be capable of taking the process in and continuously keep keep on giving at a such a high rate so the ready queue uh, from uh, it takes from the ready queue which is this one the ready queue here and it is given for the running to the cpu so after the timeout occurs, uh, occurs, the pr process will again come back to the ready queue and again the sh uh, short term scheduler will uh, schedule some other process to, for, to the CPU. And if the process has come blocked due to some IO weight, uh, then it, it can be, it, there are uh, like the process can be copied from the CPU, uh, from the uh, wait state it can be copied to the secondary memory and the swapping from the to the secondary memory is done by the medium term scheduler so the medium term scheduler actually copies the process from the second mem main memory to the secondary memory or from the secondary memory back to the main memory this swapping is done by the medium term schedulers so you can just see here this all the lines this this are actually whenever the process is blocked and it's copied to this as it is block suspended it is copied to the uh, secondary memory is done by the medium term scheduler so if you uh, the uh, let us look at more detail here long term scheduler is a job scheduler okay so whenever a new job is created and from there scheduling it to the ready queue or the ready suspended queue here yeah, is done by the lo uh, long term scheduler so it is a job scheduler the short term scheduler it is a cpu scheduler so from the ready queue uh, giving the process for to the cpu is done by the cpu scheduler mm, that it is given done by the short term scheduler the medium term scheduler is a swapper basically it is a process swapping scheduler uh, swapping the process from the block state to the second from the main memory to the uh, secondary memory from the secondary memory back to the main memory is done by the medium term scheduler so the long term scheduler speed is lesser uh, than the sh short term scheduler the speed is fastest among 
the other two scheduler the short term scheduler is the fastest because it is servicing directly the cpu which is running at a high very high speed so it has to service faster the medium term scheduler is the speed is in between both the long and short term so it is medium the medium scheduler is between both short and long term scheduler the long term scheduler it controls the degree of multi programming it is ensuring that the how many processes should be actually going for execution so it is controlling the degree of multi programming it provides less is control the basically the short term scheduler is not controlling how many program should be actually coming to the process uh, for execution it will it will just keep on scheduling whatever is to be given next to the based on the different parameters different it will be scheduling the process which is which has to be given for the execution to the cpu so it provide lesser control over degree of multi programming it reduces the degree of multi programming so what the medium term scheduler is doing is if there is a process which is not actually executing it will swap it to the main secondary memory so reducing the degree of multi programming so at the long term scheduler it is almost absent or minimal in time sharing system short term scheduler it is also minimal in time sharing system and medium term scheduler it is part of the time sharing system so the long term scheduler it is it selects processes from the pool and loads them into memory for execution so we have seen that it is from the pool of processes which are getting created it takes from that job creation process creation pool and loads them into the ready or suspended ready um uh, into the main memory basically so it loads them into the memory for execution for execution the short term scheduler it selects those processes which are ready to execute so it will from the ready queue it will select those processes which are ready to execute and give it to the cpu for execution the medium term scheduler it can reintroduce the process into memory and execution can be continued so in case if there is a suspended process or waiting a block process which is waiting for io and which has been swapped into the secondary memory so in case if the process is again finished its io then it can be swapped back into the main memory so that is done by the medium term scheduler so thank you for watching if you have liked it please subscribe like share and comment thank you very much